The 17th topic is similar to the 6th topic, uh, which was solving system of equations. Now, we will employ the easiest way possible, that is the calculator method. Now, for calculator method, obviously, you need to use your calculator. And you need to go to mode, phi, and there are many equations. See, before I go over here, let me tr press this, mode. Option number five is equations. Now, there are many of many equations, either a cubic or a quadratic or a three variable equation. See, option number two is three variable x, y, and z. Third is quad, uh, quadratic, that's power two. And fourth is cubic, power three. But the first option is two variable simultaneous equation like what we have over here. The standard form is given, that is ax plus by equals c. Now, always remember, x and y are the variables. a, b, and c are the values. See, whatever is before x is a over here. And over here, there's nothing. That means it's minus 1. If there's nothing, over here, it's 1x. And last co constant is the 9 over here. Always right side of the equal to. To solve it, it's very simple. Press 5 and type the coefficients. 2, minus 1, and 9. So it will be 1, 3, and minus 6. Now you will get x equals 3, y equals minus 3. This is the answer. But there are some cases where you won't get an answer. So let me solve this, for example. Next one. It's 2 minus 1 and 7, 6 minus 3 and 14. Over here, I'm going to get a no solution because this is a computer simulation calculator. But if you use a real scientific calculator, most of the time, you will get a math error. So math error for this case, and even if I solve the last problem, let's see over here, 2, 1, and 8, 3, 3 by 2, that is 1.5, 3 by 2 is equal to 1.5, and 12. Now over here, I'll get infinite solutions. So, there's a problem over here. As you can see, the, both, both of this, infinite solution and no solution, you'll get a math error. Whenever you get such things in calculator, when it doesn't give you a proper solution, you need to simplify the equation. Let's simplify this. Look over here. You should bring these both to a similar or a, you know, they should be both matching. Now, over here, you have 2x, right? Try to divide this and make it 2x. So obviously you need to divide by 3. So use the 3 everywhere. You can't divide only one side. You need to balance it out. Divide 3 everywhere. And the answer you get is 2x minus y because this and this cancels equals 14 by 3. Now if you look closely, 2x is same, minus y is same, equals to the numbers are different. If you graph this, you will understand the slope is same. All, both the variables are same. Only the constant is different. That means it's a parallel line. You must have studied this before. Whenever this y intercept, the constant numbers are different. That means they are in different places, but the slope and everything is same. So what happens is these will never intersect each other. That means these will never touch each other and they are always uh, gonna go or uh, they will just extend but never touch so there will be no solution how did we understand when we simplified only the numbers will be different all the other terms will match same way over here you need to get these two equal either you can divide this by two and match it or i can multiply this entire thing by two and you can match the above equation multiply over here it will be 4x Minus this 2 and 2 cancel, so you will have only y equals to 2 multiply. It should be multiplied everywhere. Multiply it with 4, it will be 8. Now look over here. 4x matches, minus y matches, but these numbers are different. So that means, again, it's no solution because they are parallel lines. They'll never touch each other. And the, over here, other problems have the solutions. You will get the answers. But the last one is infinite solution. What does this mean? So what this means exactly is they are the same line. There is only one equation, but it looks like this. But if you actually simplify, you, you are going to get the same equation in both the places. 
Now, this is a little bit tricky, but what you must do is you must try to match these two terms. Now, it's very hard because over here you can't divide anything. You know, uh, you can divide, but still it's a little bit difficult to match these. So, what you can do is in such cases, when they are simplified 2 and 3, I can't divide anything to get easily. There are numbers I can divide 1.5 over here and get 2, but still. You can do this if you start dividing 1.5 everywhere uh, and then what happens is you will get 2x, y and the same answer over here. You can try this. But what if you don't know 1.5 is the number? There's another method. Whatever is the coefficient over here, you multiply it upwards. Multiply this by 3. And what is the coefficient over here? It's 2, isn't it? Multiply it down. Then it should be, both must be same. If both are same, then it's infinite solution. Let's do this. Multiply this by 3. 2 times 3 is 6x plus 3x equals 6 times, sorry, 3 times 8 is 24. Now, same thing over here. 2 times 3 is 6x. Uh, 3 by 2 is 1.5 times 2 is 3. Or this cancels over here. So it will be plus 3. Sorry, it's not x, it's y. My bad. It's y and y equals 2 times 2 r is 24. See, now both of these equations match. That means this is the same equation. So if you're going to graph this, you can use Desmos and try graphing it. It'll be the same equation. See, if there are two lines, they are the same lines. So they will always be touching each other and Every point is a solution, so there are infinite solutions. This is how you can easily solve it in calculator. Just make sure if you get a no solution, if you're getting a math error, it can be no solution or infinitely many solution. No solution means the equation, the part of x and y will match, but this constant does not match. But as for infinitely many solution, for two variables, both the equations must match up. For two variables both will match up so this is how we can easily solve these uh, equations in calculator